In this example, we're going to build a STEM plot for some data uh, regarding some grades of some students. A STEM leaf plot has two parts, the stem and the leaf. The combination of the stem and the leaf represents the numbers that are in the data set. All of our numbers are percentages, so they're, uh, the first digit is the, the they're all two-digit uh, numbers, and uh, it looks like the smallest one is probably that 45, maybe that 40. There's nothing lower than a 40 here. So, so let's consider the stems of uh, all the 40s, all the 50s, all the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and if there's any hundreds, there aren't any, so we're just, we'll leave a, uh, leave that particular one blank. Um, there's a 62, so the we'll put a 2 right there. There's an 87, so we'll put a 7 right there. See how we're reading? 87, 62, and so on. Um, there's an 81. Now, you want to be careful to line these things up. So you want these columns to be lined up nicely. I'll go ahead and do a few more. Okay, so I've just been working through this list. Notice that there's the 62, the 87 is right there, the 81, see the 8, that 1 right there means that there's an 81, the 69 is right there, the 87 is right there, the 62 is right there, and then finally the 45 is right, <coughs> right there. Be sure that you're keeping these columns lined up as you're writing the numbers down. So next in our list is that 95, the 76 and the 76. Do you see where the 95 is? And then there's 76 and 76. Careful to line these up as we go. The next one is a, another 62, so we'll have a 2 over here in the 6, in the six row. Another 62, another 71. One there, a 65, 65 will go here, and continue. So take a minute and check the new ones that we put in. Uh, that last one was an 87, which is right there. And uh, you can read all of these data points uh, in the stem leaf plot. Let me finish out the plot so you can see the rest of it. The times that I use a stem leaf plot is when I want to see the shape of the distribution of maybe a set of, of grade scores in this case. And, uh, and I want to just be able to quickly do it. I almost always do stem leaves by hand. I'll, we'll show you how to do that uh, in R as well. But, but if I've got the data in R already, then I'll probably do a a uh, histogram or some other display of the data. But notice that I'm getting a, a shape of the distribution that seems like maybe it's slightly uh, skewed to the left because the smaller scores uh, seem to trail off a little further than the, than the upper scores. It's almost symmetric though. Um, so now let's look at the second step. Once a stem leaf has been created, we could now look at each one of the rows and sort them in order from, from uh, smallest to, to largest. Uh, so we're going to do that in each one of those rows. In this next one, it starts out with a 0 and then a, a 1. So in the 80s, we've got an 80, an 81, an 84, an 87, actually three 87s, and then an 89. So once we finish this, we're going to not only be able to see the shape of the distribution, but we also have our data sorted. Again, try to be careful and keep your columns lined up so that you're getting the shape of the distribution as you go along. So in the 60s, we've got three 62s, a 64, a 65, a 67, and a 69. And of course, that's the information that's here, but now it's sorted. So now with this rewritten stem leaf plot, we can, can follow the data from the lowest up to the highest or from the highest to the lowest. So we've got things ordered, 40, 
45, 58, 62, 62, 62, 64, and so on up until we finally get to the 95 at the, at the very highest level. Okay, that's how to do a, the, the stem leaf by, by hand. And practically, I think that's usually what will happen. So here I've pulled up an R console. I've typed in all of that data. Um, and so now I've got this object X, which contains all of the data. And we can look at the stem of X. And uh, this is a little disconcerting. The R produces a different stem leaf plot than what we've got. But here's the secret. We needed to ask for the stem of X with a scale of 2. Then you see that uh, R produces the same stem leaf plot that we've got. I don't know whether that will show on your screen there. But uh, the, the 40 and the 45, it's doing it kind of from the low score to the high score instead of from the high to the low. And then 58 and then 62, three of those and, and uh, so on. Okay, so that's it.